loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, I am participating in a collaboration that is being hosted by two lovely ladies here. It is Yami from The Latina Next Door and Jessica from Measure and & Mix. And the name of this collaboration is the Look For Less Challenge. Now, what they have challenged us to do is to find a piece that may be above our price range in like a high-end store that we would like to own, but of course, it costs a little bit more than what we want to pay for it or you just know that you can make it for a whole lot less. Now, I have decided to do an item that is from a Target. Now, I would not consider Target a high-end store. However, they do carry some pretty nice stuff that can be on the pricey side. And I saw a particular Christmas item, because this is the Christmas version of the Look For Less, that I know I can make for a whole lot cheaper. So we are going to jump right into this, and you can tell me if you think that I did a good job doing the Look For Less on a Target-inspired item that is going to be made fully with Dollar Tree products. first thing you're going to do is you're going to take out your Christmas trees and you're going to fluff them. You are not going to need the little feet because we are going to be attaching the trees to the reef forms and so we don't need the little feet for them to stand up. Now in order to fluff these, now in order to fluff these, they come kind of folded over on the top so make sure you pull that all the way out and then just pull all the branches apart but we are going to fluff these different than a regular tree we are going to take and pull everything toward the direction that the tree is facing you it doesn't make any difference which side you face towards you just pull everything the direction that you do face the tree towards you and pull it apart and fluff it we do not want any of the branches to be left on the back of the tree. So once you have your tree completely fluffed, you're going to press it down towards the top so that all of your branches are kind of facing up. So it still looks like a Christmas tree and it's very full, but on the back side, it is completely flat, as you can see. We don't want any of the branches coming out the back. And you're gonna do this to all six of your trees. Next, we're gonna set our trees aside and we're gonna grab our foam board. This is a piece that I already had from a previous project, Dollar Tree sells this also. You're only gonna need a small amount. You're gonna pick up your reforms and you're going to set one down and trace around it and cut out a circle the size of this reform. And then you're going to take your second reform and you're going to turn this one over, over here, and trace a circle around this one as well. You only need the smaller inner circle for this Next, one. I'm going to take the biggest circle that we have and I'm going to take my reform and glue it down and I'm going to use a little bit of Gorilla Glue and some hot glue. Now don't worry if it looks a little messy because no one's going to see that. I just want to get enough glue on it so that it adheres completely and I'm going to give that a second to let the Gorilla Glue dry for a while. Next, we're going to take our Gorilla Glue and glue the smaller circle inside of So we're going to take one of our little trees and we're going to make sure that one of the flat sides is on the back of the little base that's here. They're flexible, they move around. So just make sure one of the flat sides on the back and we're going to begin to lay our trees down on the base that we've created here. We're going to put two across from each other and then add in the other four. So we can glue them down. On that, I'm going to take the other reform. I'm going to place it here on top of the one that's already down on top of all of my trees. And I'm going to put these little edges that go across by one of 
our trees and I'm going to tie them down with some jewelry wire in probably all four or three little areas and then on top of that reinforce that with some glue down on top of the trees just on the center part here I know it's overkill this is who I am I really want this to survive if I place it outside okay so now we're going to place all of our beautiful flocked winter picks from the Dollar Tree. This one's missing one of the acorns, but that's fine. I wanted to have six of these, but I only have five, but we are going to make it work. So we're going to work in between the spaces of the trees, and we're just going to place this in and tuck it underneath our reef four, just like that. And we're going to place all of them in with some hot glue from Okay loves, here is my final project and I have to say I'm in love with how it turned out. Of course, it is a snowflake wreath and I have it hanging here inside my front door. I just placed a few command strips on the back and then you can stick it anywhere you want. But it's not that heavy and it is hanging there pretty easily without any problems whatsoever. So, Target has this snowflake reef in a green pine completely and a green pine that is lightly dusted with snow. I made the one that is the green pine with pine cones, a few little berries, the LED battery operated lights, and glitter. It is 32 inches wide that Target carries for $47.99, I think. 47.90 something. The one that has the snow cover on it does not have any pine cones, no berries, no extra adornment, no glitter, but it is does have the LED lights and it's $34.99. So mine cost me $6 for all of my white Christmas trees. Yes, I decided to do white because snowflakes are white, but if you really wanna do the one just like Target, the Dollar Tree carries the green trees right now as well. Six, five dollars actually, not six, for the picks because I couldn't find a six one. Though if I do run across one, I will get it and add it to this wreath. It was one dollar for the foam board, one dollar for the wreath forms, and one dollar for the floral wire. Of course, I didn't count my Gorilla Glue because I already had it on hand, or my glue sticks, though I did use quite a few, so you could count a dollar for that at the Dollar Tree for glue sticks. But it was altogether less than $20 for this wreath. I do believe that the lights that Dollar Tree has, the fairy lights, you would probably need four to six packs if you want it really lit. I didn't use those lights from the Dollar Tree because I already had fairy lights that I got on clearance at Big Lots last year for like a dollar, but there was 150 on that strand and that is what I'm using to light up this reef. So this has got to be one of my favorite projects that I've ever done here on my channel. I just think it turned out wonderfully. I want to thank Yami and Jessica for including me in this challenge. This is the very first time I ever participated in the Look for Less, and I have to say, I love doing this. I know I didn't pick an item that's all that expensive, but I definitely saved money making my version. I will link both of their channels down below along with the playlist of all the other participants that are in this challenge. Please go by and show them all some love. Make sure you let them know that I sent you over there. I want to thank all of you for watching, liking, and always sharing my videos. And if you're not a member of Lisa Space yet, if you are from someone else's channel, hi, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here. I am going to be doing quite a few Christmas DIYs coming up here for you guys, and you will not want to miss it. So make sure you hit that notification bell 
also so you are notified every time that I upload. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey Space, the same way that it's spelled here. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.